What if I told you that some of the most extreme creatures on Earth are thriving in a place where life shouldn't even exist? And what if this discovery was so groundbreaking that NASA decided to keep it a secret? Stay tuned, because today we're diving into one of the most extraordinary scientific mysteries of our time, the mutated sharks of the Sharkano. Have you ever wondered how life can survive in the harshest environments? From the frigid Arctic to scalding hot deserts, life finds a way. But nothing could prepare scientists for what they uncovered in the fiery depths of an underwater volcano. Before we reveal the shocking details, here's something personal. I've always been fascinated by the ocean, its vastness, its mysteries. But learning about what thrives beneath its surface, especially in places we thought were uninhabitable, completely blew my mind. Here's an astounding fact. Kavachi, an underwater volcano in the Pacific Ocean, is so active that its eruptions can send plumes of ash and debris up to five kilometers away. Yet within its bubbling, toxic waters, life not only exists, but thrives. Intrigued? By the end of this video, you'll understand why this discovery has implications for everything from marine biology to the search for life on other planets. Our story begins in the picturesque Solomon Islands, a tropical paradise known for its stunning biodiversity. Amidst its coral reefs and lush forests lies Kavachi, an underwater volcano often referred to as the Sharkano. This geological wonder, active since 1939, sits just beneath the ocean's surface, a cauldron of molten rock, sulfur, and extreme pressure. The Solomon Islands themselves are a marvel of natural beauty and ecological importance. Stretching across a vast expanse of the South Pacific, this archipelago is home to countless unique species of flora and fauna. The islands are known not only for their vibrant coral reefs, but also for their rich cultural heritage. Kavachi, however, stands out as one of the region's most mysterious features. It's a place where the Earth's fiery depths meet the ocean's cool embrace, creating an environment that is as dangerous as it is fascinating. Kavachi's eruptions create a hostile environment, with water temperatures often exceeding 100 degrees Celsius and toxic chemicals saturating the area. These conditions, which would kill most forms of life, instead serve as a proving ground for the resilience of Earth's organisms. Despite these challenges, scientists have long been intrigued by the volcano's unique ecosystem. In 2015, NASA, in collaboration with marine biologists, launched a mission to investigate this underwater enigma. The mission's objective seemed straightforward. Study microbial life forms capable of surviving in extreme environments. Equipped with remote-operated submersibles, the team descended into Kavachi's caldera. These submersibles, specially designed to withstand the intense pressure and heat of the volcano, were outfitted with cameras, robotic arms, and advanced sensors. They offered researchers a rare glimpse into a world few had ever seen, but what they found was far from ordinary. As the cameras captured the turbulent waters, something unexpected emerged from the darkness. Sharks. Not just any sharks, but hammerheads and silky sharks, species typically found in tropical reefs. How were they surviving in such a harsh, toxic environment? Initially, the team was skeptical. The conditions within Kavachi, high heat, sulfuric acidity, and low oxygen, should have been lethal to vertebrates. But the footage left no room for doubt. The sight of these sharks swimming effortlessly through the chaotic waters was both mesmerizing and baffling. They seemed unbothered by the extreme heat and toxic chemicals that surrounded them. Their presence challenged everything scientists thought they knew about the limits of life on Earth. How could these apex predators not only endure, but thrive in such an inhospitable environment? The real shock came when scientists analyzed tissue samples collected by robotic arms. These weren't ordinary sharks. Genetic analysis revealed mutations that had fundamentally altered their biology. Their cellular structures showed an extraordinary ability to repair heat-induced damage. Their blood contained unique compounds that neutralized toxins. Even their sensory systems appeared to be enhanced, allowing them to navigate the dark, chaotic waters of the volcano. To put this into perspective, these adaptations were akin to science fiction. 
Imagine creatures with built-in mechanisms to repair damage caused by extreme heat, or blood that acts as a natural detoxifier against chemicals that would poison most other animals. These sharks were not just surviving, they were thriving in conditions that would be lethal to almost all other marine life. These adaptations weren't just impressive, they were groundbreaking. NASA's astrobiology team quickly realized that studying these sharks could provide crucial insights into how life might evolve in extreme environments, not just on Earth, but potentially on other planets and moons. The sharks of Kavachi offered a window into the kind of life that might exist in the boiling seas of Jupiter's moon Io or the acidic clouds of Venus. The discovery raised profound questions. Could these mutations spread to other parts of the ocean, disrupting marine ecosystems? Apex predators like sharks play a crucial role in maintaining ecological balance. If their physiology changed too rapidly, it could have cascading effects on the food chain, potentially impacting human fisheries and coastal economies. The prospect of such mutations spreading was both thrilling and terrifying. On one hand, these adaptations represented nature's incredible capacity for resilience. On the other, they posed a potential threat to the delicate balance of oceanic ecosystems. What would happen if these super sharks began to outcompete other species? Could their enhanced traits disrupt the intricate web of marine life? And what about the ethical concerns? Should scientists actively study and potentially intervene in these evolutionary processes, or should they let nature take its course? These questions weighed heavily on the research team, but their deliberations were cut short by an unexpected development. Shortly after the discovery, NASA classified much of the mission's data. Officially, the research was halted due to safety concerns. Kavachi's activity had intensified, making further exploration dangerous. The volcano's frequent eruptions posed significant risks to both personnel and equipment, with the potential for catastrophic consequences. Unofficially, however, there were whispers of deeper motivations. Why would NASA, an agency dedicated to exploration, suddenly withdraw from such a promising discovery? Leaked documents suggested geopolitical concerns. Other nations, including China and Russia, had expressed interest in extreme marine environments. If the mutated shark's unique traits had applications in biotechnology or medicine, the implications could be immense. Imagine the potential. Bioengineered resistance to extreme heat, toxins or pressure. Such advancements could revolutionize industries, but they could also spark a race for control, much like the Cold War's space race. The secrecy surrounding the project only fueled speculation. In 2019, independent researchers returned to Kavachi, funded by private organizations. Using advanced drones and imaging technology, they documented even more astonishing findings. In addition to the sharks, they discovered mutated eels, giant squid, and bizarre jellyfish-like organisms, all displaying signs of genetic adaptation. This footage, leaked to a documentary filmmaker, went viral, reigniting public fascination and conspiracy theories. Critics accused NASA of withholding information that could advance our understanding of evolution and climate resilience. Environmental groups raised alarms about the potential consequences of ignoring such a profound ecological shift. While some scientists dismissed the findings as isolated anomalies, others saw them as a glimpse into the future of life on Earth. As climate change accelerates and ocean conditions grow increasingly extreme, could the adaptations observed in Kavachi sharks foreshadow broader evolutionary trends? If so, what does this mean for humanity's relationship with the natural world? What's your opinion? Should NASA have shared more about this discovery? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this story as fascinating as I did, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into extraordinary mysteries. And remember, mutated volcano sharks are just the beginning. Until next time, keep exploring.